Welcome to the tutorial. Today we're going to be working in Linux and we're going to be creating a custom map for veins using OpenStreetMap and Gatcom Sumo. So the first thing that I want to do is create a folder for my project. So I'm going to go here to activities, files, and on the desktop, I'm just going to create a folder and call it Washington DC because that's the map that I'll be creating. So the next thing we want to do is go to um, download the GATCOM Sumo program. There'll be a link for this in the description. And once I go to the sourceforge.net to the link, um, you're going to want to click on a files here and it'll bring you to this page and we're going to click on version 1.04 and we're just going to click on this uh, jar file to download it So once it's saved, we can go ahead and minimize this. And let's just go ahead and um, go to downloads and copy that. And go paste it into our project folder. And the next thing that we want to do is we want to copy the Sumo binaries. So I'm going to go to home and the source folder. And I'm actually using instant veins, so all of this was pre-installed. I'll leave a link for the instant veins virtual machine in the description. So I'm going to copy the Sumo folder. And I'm going to paste it into my project folder. So the next thing we want to do is open up the GATCOM Sumo program. So we can right click here and say open terminal. And we can type this command. So once we have the program open, we want to we want to give the program the path to our Sumo binaries. So we can just click this button here. And this is where I have it saved in my project folder. I'm going to point it to the bin folder of Sumo. Click open. And we're going to go ahead and give a name for our OSM file. And then we're going to go ahead and click download. Once this window opens, we want to make sure that the coordinates are set to latitude, longitude. And now we're going to go to OpenStreetMap and uh, get some coordinates for our map. So I'm going to be doing a map of Washington, D.C. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, zoom in a little bit here. And I'm going to click on export at the top. And then I'm going to click on manually select a different area. And I'm going to shrink this a little bit. Let's see.
Okay, so once we have the area selected that we want, we want to take these um, coordinates and plug it into the program. So this is going to be our latitude north. and our latitude south. Longitude west. And longitude east. Then we're gonna click download. Let me minimize this so you can see the files populate here. So I click download. You can see that it created our OSM file. So we're going to go ahead and uh, click here where it says network file and give it a name, the same name as our OSM file. And you can see that it, it changed the obstacle file name as well. And we're going to go ahead and click on convert. Next, we're going to click on create obstacles. Then we're going to click load network. After that, we're going to click on the tab at the top that says map, just to confirm that uh, our map loaded. And you can see that it has. So next, we want to click on traffic demand, and we're going to go to trips. And I'll just leave it at the default number 10 trips. And I'm going to click on Generate Trips here. So we're going to click Add All. Say OK. And then we're going to add some vehicles. Click the Add Vehicles button. And I'll just leave it at 10 for the color. I'll say orange and click Add Vehicles, and click OK. From here, we can click on the Routes tab to confirm that the, the trips were uh, generated. Uh, go ahead and click uh, Save at the top to uh, save your trips. Uh, now we can uh, go ahead and click on the Omnet++ tab at the top. And where it says Use Obstacles, we're going to say Yes. And we're going to click Generate Files at the bottom. Click Yes. So now that we have all of our files generated, we can go ahead and uh, try to get our custom map into veins. So we can go ahead and close this. Close this. I'm going to open up the Omnet++ IDE and the Veins Launch D script. So I'm going to go to one of the Veins examples. So I'm going to expand this Veins folder, go to Examples, Veins. And what we want to do is uh, copy some of our files into here. And the files that we want are this config.xml. We want the launchd.xml, the .net, xml, the .poly, the .ru, and this sumo.cfg file. 
So it's a total of six files. Go ahead and copy. And we can paste it into this veins folder. And say yes. And now uh, one of the last things that we want that we want to do is open up the INI file here and we want to change the playground size. So in the files that we generated, uh, there's an INI file where we can get the playground size for our map, which is here. And then we want to change this uh, launchd.xml file to the one uh, we created, which is here. So we'll just say Washington, D.C. And now we can go ahead and try to run the simulation and see if it works. So you can select the INI file, right click, run as Omnet plus plus simulation, click save. You could just leave it as default, press OK. Click run at the top. Now we have a custom map in veins with our 10 vehicles. You can see that everything is working. So thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you next time.